Then bring near to you Aaron your brother, and his sons with him, from among the people of Israel, to serve me as priests. Aaron and Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ethamar. And you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, for glory and for beauty. And you shall speak to all who have ability, whom I have endowed with an able mind, that they make Aaron's garments to consecrate him for my priesthood. These are the garments which they shall make, a breastpiece, an ephod, a robe, a coat of checker work, a turban, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother and his sons to serve me as priests. They shall receive gold, blue and purple and scarlet stuff, and fine twined linen, and they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet stuff, and of fine twined linen, skilfully worked. It shall have two shoulder pieces attached to its two edges, that it may be joined together, and the skilfully woven band upon it, to gird it on, shall be of the same workmanship and materials, of gold, blue and purple and scarlet stuff, and fine twined linen, and you shall take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel, six of their names on one stone and the names of the remaining six on the other stone, in the order of their birth. As a jeweller engraves signets, so shall you engrave the two stones with the names of the sons of Israel. You shall enclose them in settings of gold filigree, and you shall set the two stones upon the shoulder pieces of the ephod, as stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord, upon his two shoulders for remembrance. And you shall make settings of gold filigree, and two chains of pure gold, twisted like cords, and you shall attach the corded chains to the settings. And you shall make a breastpiece of judgment, in skilled work, like the work of the ephod you shall make it, of gold, blue and purple and scarlet stuff and fine twined linen you shall make it. It shall be square and double, a span its length and a span its breadth, and you shall set in it four rows of stones. A row of sardius, topaz and carbuncle shall be the first row, and the second row an emerald, a sapphire and a diamond, and the third row a jacinth, an agate and an amethyst and the fourth row a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold filigree. There shall be twelve stones with their names, according to the names of the sons of Israel. They shall be like signets, each engraved with its name, for the twelve tribes. And you shall make for the breastpiece twisted chains like cords of pure gold, and you shall make for the breastpiece two rings of gold, and put the two rings on the two edges of the breastpiece. And you shall put the two cords of gold in the two rings at the edges of the breastpiece. The two ends of the two cords you shall attach to the two settings of filigree, and so attach it in front to the shoulder pieces of the ephod. And you shall make two rings of gold, and put them at the two ends of the breastpiece, on its inside edge next to the ephod. And you shall make two rings of gold, and attach them in front to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces of the ephod, at its joining above the skilfully woven band of the ephod. And they shall bind the breastpiece by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it may lie upon the skilfully woven band of the ephod, and that the breastpiece shall not come loose from the ephod. So Aaron shall bear the names of the sons of Israel in the breastpiece of judgment upon his heart, when he goes into the holy place, to bring them to continual remembrance before the Lord. And in the breastpiece of judgment you shall put the Urim and the Thummim, that they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord. Thus Aaron shall bear the judgment of all the people of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. And you shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue. It shall have in it an opening for the head, with a woven binding around the opening, like the opening in a garment, that it may not be torn. On its skirts you shall make pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet stuff, around its skirts with bells of gold between them, a golden bell and a pomegranate, 
a golden bell and a pomegranate, round about the skirts of the robe, and it shall be upon Aaron when he ministers, and its sound shall be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord, and when he comes out, lest he die. And you shall make a plate of pure gold, and engrave on it, like the engraving of a signet, holy to the Lord. And you shall fasten it on the turban by a lace of blue. It shall be on the front of the turban. It shall be upon Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall take upon himself any guilt incurred in the holy offering which the people of Israel hallow as their holy gifts. It shall always be upon his forehead, that they may be accepted before the Lord. And you shall weave the coat in checker work of fine linen, and you shall make a turban of fine linen, and you shall make a girdle embroidered with needlework. And for Aaron's sons you shall make coats and girdles and caps, and you shall make them for glory and beauty, and you shall put them upon Aaron your brother, and upon his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and ordain them, and consecrate them, that they may serve me as priests. And you shall make for them linen breeches to cover their naked flesh, from the loins to the thighs they shall reach, and they shall be upon Aaron, and upon his sons, when they go into the tent of the meeting, or when they come near to the altar to minister in the holy place, lest they bring guilt upon themselves and die. This shall be a perpetual statute for him and for his descendants after him.